This image on your screen has been generated from just a text prompt with zero shot. The model which is behind this image creation is this newly released Flux1 Crea Dev model which is an open weight text to image generation model developed through a collaboration between Crea AI and Black Forest Labs. This is the same company behind the Flux1 Dev channel models which we have been covering for a long time on the channel. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will generate few images and we will also do a comparison with the previous Flux1 Dev model and I will tell you what has changed. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe as it helps a lot. Now, you already have seen the example of an image generated locally through this. Before I show you the installation steps, let me give you a bit overview of this <clears throat> new model. First and foremost, the choice of name is quite interesting. Kriya is, um, <clears throat> com comes from Greek mythology and it refers to to create or is associated with creativity and creation. The model is open weight. Open weight means that the model's trained parameters or weights are publicly available for download and use, but it's not the same as open source. This is a very crucial point. So what it means is that if you're looking to use it on commercial basis, you need to understand the licensing um, nuances and everything because open source would also include the training code, data set and full development pipeline, which is not available. Anyway, still, I think a real good addition to our repertoire in terms of text to image generation because without any doubt, Flux1 Dev and up till now is the best text to image generation model without any uh, doubt in my mind at least. Now, this new model is built on a 12 billion parameter diffusion transformer architecture. It's fully compatible with the existing Flux1 Dev ecosystem while offering a distinctive opinionated aesthetic approach. And that is what is different. The model was created specifically to overcome the common AI look problem, the oversaturated textures, waxy skins, blurry backgrounds and boring compositions that plague many AI generated images and we have seen it happening in Flux1 Dev2 though it has tried to overcome it a lot. Another thing which I have noticed is that this new uh, model is very very uh, good at instruction following. So this image was generated from that this text prompt which you see on your screen. So enchanted fox spirit mate with ethereal blonde wa waves cascading over oversized fennec ears and then shadowy mansion, midnight silk, uh, pristine lace apron, tall gothic, gothic window reveals an otherworldly mist shrouded forest. So keeping this text in mind when you look at this image then you get the idea that it has followed the prompt very quickly. Now. Let me quickly show you my VRAM consumption as the model is fully loaded onto the GPU and my system configuration before I generate more images. So this is my Ubuntu system and then this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and you can see that the model is consuming close to 33 gig of VRAM as it fully loads onto the GPU. There are quantized version available if you have lower VRAM. Now, if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, I will drop the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. And you can see that there is a bit of a lag. This is my network, which is not good as there is a huge, uh, very freak storm in Sydney. So I'm having some trouble with my network. Anyway, so this is a Mast Compute. Please check them out. Um, also, I want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are our very good friend that iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. So let's generate you know, another image and then I will tell you all the installation instructions which are actually quite simple because this Crea model is a drop-in replacement of the Flux1 Dev model. 
In this next example, I'm just asking it to generate me an image of tropical fruit vendor with sun-kissed skin and flower-crowned braids, surrounded by a towering pyramids of mangoes, papayas, and dragon fruit in a bustling Caribbean marketplace. And then there are a few other things. Uh, you can read through it. I already have kicked off the image generation. It has generated something. There you go. What do you think? So I think it has followed the prompt. The human image could be improved. But other than that, it looks a bit realistic. There is no, I would say, plastic-like sense or AI look there. And this is what this model is trying to do. How much it's been successful, I think, to a large degree it is. But if you ask me very honestly, I think there is a law, there is a room for improvement. So they have, they are in the right direction, but the naturalness which they are after is still not there hundred percent, I would say. But direction is quite right. <clears throat> now, let me show you now how you can get it installed. So look, as I said, it's a drop and replacement of Flux One Dev. So all you need to do. You just need to replace your Flux One Dev model with this model, and you're good to go. Same Comfy UI workflow, same model, same uh, everything. And let me show you what I mean. First up, that this tool which you see on your screen is called as Comfy UI. If you don't know what Comfy UI is, just go to my channel and search with Comfy UI tutorial and watch this video. You will become a hero from zero in no time and I'm assuming you already have installed Comfy UI. You know what are the basic concepts. And <clears throat> this is what this tutorial tells you. So I'm sure you're going to like it. Still very much rele relevant. You can also find the link to the Comfy UI workflow in the video description. So, you know, once you have that. First thing you need to do is to just grab your model file. So go to the same uh, Black Forest Lab link. From there, you see that this save tensor file right click on this downward arrow and then wait for it save link is and it's a gated model so you would need to log into hugging face and accept the term and condition go to where you have installed your comfy ui then go to comfy ui models directory and within that in the diffusion model just save this save tensor i already have it 23.8 gig i think it's a similar size the other one previous one was around 22 gig or something like that anyway so once you have that um another thing you would need to do is to grab your um variational auto encoder file you see this is a dot safe tensor you can simply save link as just go to where you have installed your uh, Comfy UI in the Comfy UI models V or VAE variational auto encoder. Just save it. This is a component of model which converts an image from latent space to pixel space or vice versa. Latent space is where model works and pixel space is where uh, we can see the image. Third and final, you would need two text encoders. It needs two one. So clip L and this, or if you have a lower VRAM, just go any one of these from the bottom. So in order, so I'm just going to go with this clip L and T5 double XL. And for that, again, right click on this downward arrow. And then save the link, uh, both of these models in text encoder directory in Comfy UI. Once you have that, just that's it all these are all the models which you need just go to your comfy ui screen and from there you see there is a workflow click on workflow click on open and then you know down you know load that json file the comfy ui workflow you can find it in the link in video description and then once it is loaded all you need to do is to just select your model and i will show you let me show you where the models are selected in these nodes. So make sure that you have selected this Kriya model in diffusion node. And these are the two clip nodes. And then at the bottom, you will see there is a VAE node where you can load your variation auto encoder. And that's about it. Just then give it a text prompt here and then it will generate the image. Let's generate one more. In the next one, I'm testing it's um, if it can write the text or not. So there is a 25-year-old radiant blonde and holding the sign which says like the video, uh, something like that. And then there is a scene 
uh, amidst the wild flowers surrounded by towering sunflowers some golden poppies some puffy white clouds and all that stuff i already have started running it so let's see there you go i think this is one of the best i have seen so far in terms of uh, text and the text uh, it has done wonderfully well the previous flux one good too but this one i think you can see that it is more natural um, if you closely look at the clouds they look so natural also in the background um, these hills look good yes the butterflies look a bit still have the ai look but other than that not bad at all And I'm checking another cultural um, image, so stunning Latina with cascading dark curls and warm brown eyes. Another sign which says flux1.crea and it's a Mexican plaza during a festival celebration. And there is a traditional embroidered dress in brilliant turquoise and fuchsia with intricate golden threads and all that stuff. So let's check it out. And there you go. And I think this could be a perfect one for the thumbnail, but look. Mexican culture is oozing through, looks so natural, look at the humans and it looks so so good, even the hands look good, maybe we'll check the feet and hands shortly, but other than that I think there is a lot of naturalness there, there are of course there are some imperfections, especially around the basis, but other than that, not bad at all, not bad at all. Okay, in this one I'm asking it to Basically, the focal point is the human feet here. So close up artistic study of a ballerina's feet and pointe showcasing the precise positioning and elegant lines of her pink satin pointy shoes with delicate silk ribbons gracefully wrapped around her slender ankle. So just trying to see what exactly it can produce here. Otherwise, I will just keep it simple. There you go. I think it has so the shape of the human feet looks pretty good to me in those ballerina shoes. Okay, now let's simply ask it to generate me uh, a human feet maybe. And there you go. I just asked it to generate me a beautiful manicured female human feet and you can see that it has done well. Of course, if you look very closely, there are still some imperfection, but I think not bad if you compare it to the previous versions. And now I am trying to confuse the model. I am asking it a male human hand with six fingers. Let's see how it goes. There you go. Here the instruction following us because this is, uh, you know, sort of a Achilles heels for the models that they always struggle with, you know, generating hands and feet and all that stuff. So that is where a lot of maybe sort of head good, hard coding goes in, a lot of post training. And I think even it ignores the six fingers and that sort of stuff. And still, you can see that this can improve the human hand. Uh, but if you compare it to the previous versions, heaps of improvement there. And next up, I'm testing it out with some Indian, Indian culture from south of India, like exuberant Onam celebrations in a Kerala backyard where women in brilliant white and gold Kasavu saris with vibrant floral borders create an intricate pukalam. And if you're from that culture, please also confirm um, if this prompt is right and if the model has did it well. Especially I'm inter interested in this traditional Kathakali performance in elaborate emerald and gold costume practice. I already started it. Let's see what it generates. It's a very safe model. I haven't seen it creating any NSFW images as of yet. There you go. I don't see Kathakali one, but anyway. So this, I think, is it called as Rangoli? I'm not sure. Uh, but looks pretty good. Look at the sun and, you know, this is south of India, the coconut trees and all that stuff. And all of it looks pretty good. You know, the way this uh, lady on the left is just leaning and, you know, pick up some flowers and put it in. So it looks pretty good. It's so vibrant, so colorful. The scene looks so natural look at the shadows very nice so look i could you know spend days and days on these sort of models but i will just stop the video here i will be covering it more maybe we will see if there are any new other loras available with it we will also check that out let me know what you think please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for all the support